art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Look at your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, God loves you and I do too. Say it again. God loves you and I do too. Say it up. God loves you and I do too. One time. God loves you and I do too. All right. I woke up this morning with my mind and it was stayed on Jesus. I said I woke up this morning with my mind and it was stayed on Jesus. You know I woke up this morning with my mind and it was I hear that harmony. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to stand up and do a little Father Abraham today. Everybody stand up. Yes. If I can do it, <laughs> you can do it. One, two, one. Come on, sister. Father Abraham, have me and your kids. Come on, y'all. Have me and your kids. Have Abraham, good job, kindergarten. I am one of them. And so are you. So, you got it, Miss Lee. Here we go. Right on Father Abraham. Had many kids. He did. And many kids. <laughs> I love it, Mr. Brown. <laughs> He's so cool. And you. So, just right on left on Father Abraham. Had many kids. Looking good, Miss Collier. And many kids. Have Dr. Smith, out of all of them, and so are you. So, <laughs> right or left, the right foot, be careful, Miss Carl, yeah. <laughs> Come on, y'all. And then any kids, tap. I wish y'all could see this beat, he's killing it. I am a perfect kill, and so are you. So, just, here we go, right or right foot. Father Abraham had many kids, woo, and many kids. <laughs> Looking good, as I remind me. I am one of them, and so are you. So, I might say, right, I left, the right foot, left foot, la 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 la, la 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 la, come on, y'all. La 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 la, la. It's a y'all, but I don't want you to. Lick your mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn up, turn around, sit down. <coughs> Let me hear you. Jesus was a cool dude. Then he made the girl the ruler. He got a love on his face, full of grace. Spreading God's love all over the place. <coughs> praise Him. Praise Him. <coughs> praise Him. Praise Him. Now listen, I've got a question. Here's an oldie but goodie. And the question is, if you remember it, I'll be so impressed. I don't think we've done this in a long time. It goes like this. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy, up, left, time is coming, guys. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy, all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy, all the time. Try it. I'm in right, happy, all the time. So right, I'm in right out right. You got this car, you really happy, Miss Rice for the hours. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. 
out and right out, right out, right down, right. Come on, sixth grade, I need you one more time. Um, you're not good. I'm in, out, up, down, happy on the top. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right out, right up, right. Give the Lord a praise. Now, real quick, if you haven't figured it out yet, you know we have killer guys in the house every week, but we also have six grade in the house. Yes, we do. And I think we got a little ensemble group. Got a little ensemble, got a little fourth on the side, a little fourth on the side, a little. I love it, I love it, I love it. So here's what we're going to do. I heard a rumor that the best roles are not necessarily cinnamon rolls. Not necessarily. The best roles are not necessarily dinner rolls. Although I like dinner rolls. The best roles are not necessarily the sound of rock and roll, but the best role around here is our Dr. Smith, Ms. Collier, put the stage. <laughs> All right. You're moving a little bit faster now. You look good. You look good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Today is a day of celebration. Now, those of you that are in the gym today, you are not going to come down for your award. We're going to get them to you later because that's too many people crossing people. And those of you who are remote, we're going to get you yours. And those of you that are in the classrooms, we're going to get you yours. So, honor roll is published at the end of each quarter. We honor each of you during chapel service. And you're selected for honor roll based on your grades, but also your behavior. So how well you're representing yourself and performing. Straight A's, you need to make all straight A's. That's high honor roll, straight A's. A honor roll is a 3.75 or higher. B honor roll is a 3.0 to a 3.74, and you cannot have more than one C. A's and B's and not more than one C. Okay, we believe in building character and embracing the attitude of a Christian. So behavior goes into this as well. So let me see if I can balance this mic. Read these and hand them over to my gorgeous assistant here. I want to start with B on roll. Here we go. King Stalin. Makai Baker. Christian Barsdale. Darve Bay, Deja Bain, Lance Bayman, great audience, Riley Bland, Diana Brown, Janae Creighton, Tina Deering, Kyle Deering, Amber Dick, Dimitri Dobby. Cassidy Fentress, Adriana Harrison, Camila Hunter, Gloria Levine, Morgan Merrick, London Nelson, Joshua Nickerson, Madison Pratt, Aubrey Rice, Ivy Roberts, Jamila Russell, Asia Scott, Kenneth Smith, Deshaun Sullivan, Alexandra Tucker, Tamara Tucker, Taylor Turner, Romel Van Treat, Kiana Washington, Kira Wynn, Mary Ozen. All right, if your name will call, stand up where you are right now and let your parents or staff give you a round of applause. Woo! Great. 
Great job. All right, moving on to the AL. It's not for no. Kindergarten's our, our audience. They're working their way to here. All right, here we go for the A honor roll. Dario Baines. Aiden Cameron. Fred Chandler. Aubrey Fields. Jalen Harris. Stephen Hood. Camille Ivey. Destiny Jackson. Canario Jarrett. Kyla Johnson, Derek Johnson, Victoria McCord. <laughs> Victoria, that was your mother. Moses McElmore, Aiden Miller, Tyson Nixon, Tanaya Pickett, Jacqueline Spencer, Nyla Stevens. Adrian Thomas, Mia Thomas, William Thomas, Trinity Washington. All right, stand up if your name was called wherever you are, and may we all applaud you. All right, here we go to the A honor roll, A pluses, high honor roll. Woo, it's a lot of work, keep it up. Ariana Allen. Sophia Olande, Lauren Barnes, Aiden Branch, Malachi Brown, Navea Coakley, Chloe Esso, Aubrey Francis, Amina Flowers, Kahani Boss, Lila Greenwood, Mia Harris, Harper Hatch, Brandon Huster, Denia Hill, Lauren Johnson, Zaria Johnson, Kiana Little, Sakari Loney, Harmony McCarty, Nasila Miles, Antoine Moss, Christian Oma Smith, Brandon Adigadu, Cameron Pitt, Daniel Spencer, Malia Robinson, Makai Rogers, Takira Tucker, Aiden Wallace, Amari Williams, Lyric Zinn. Woo! Stand up for your ass so we can give you a round of applause. I am what an achievement. Great job, and I love seeing so many of our upcoming graduates on that honor roll. Now, I have a couple trophies to give away. So these particular students receive trophies as members of Elvin Sims Scholarship recipients. There's quite a few requirements for the Elvin Sims, and during this time, these two particular students made straight A's last school year for every marking period. Obviously, because of circumstances, it took a little bit longer to get them their rewards, but I would like to come up, so call up Sophia Alande and Brandon Ojigatu. All right, Sophia, we'll bring yours up to you in a little while. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. And honor roll students, that means they made A's and B's for the entire school year and received and kept up with their Alvin Sims, Makai Baker and Carl Deering. Here you go, sir. Congratulations. All right. go. All right, let's give everyone one more round of applause. So I want everyone to take a minute right now and to think about if
if you didn't make the honor roll, what do you need to do differently? What do you need to do differently? Is it ask a teacher for help? Is it make better choices? Is it get your schoolwork done? What do you need to do? Because there's no reason you all can't be on honor roll. If you made an honor roll, how do you get to the next level of honor roll? Or if you're straight A's, how do you keep it up? This is an opportunity to celebrate the grit and determination of each of you Holy Family students. This reminds us that through God, all things are possible. That's why we celebrate during chapel. This isn't easy. It takes grit, resilience, determination, all the things that you're going to need to get you through life. You can do it. Stay focused on your schoolwork. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Put the work in, study, connect with those who push you to achieve. Remember, your network is your net worth. Reach out on virtual Fridays for extra help, and next quarter we'll be celebrating each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you. All right, now I'm gonna pass it to the wonderful Pastor Hunter who preaches through that mask with all his energy. Crown me. Uh, <laughs> Good job. One more time for all the honor roll students. Good job. And so, listen, you, if you know your ABCs and what your first name begins with, what letter, you know how to do this song. A. Okay, that was a test. Let's do it again. A. C. <laughs> that was perfect. That was so much fun. We got to do this again. A. B, C, D, <laughs> E, no effort, E, F, Z, H, I, J, <laughs> K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, Wow! Uh, all right! S. There we go! That was fun too. T. U. V. Woo! W. X. Y. Z. Break it down! Now I know my. If you can spell, if you know your name, do you know, do you know how to spell Jesus? Put your hands together for Steve and Hurry to help us spell Jesus. What do you think? Hey, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Give the Lord a hand, praise. Miss V, you know I couldn't have you in the house and not be in your song. All right. Give it go. 
was. I forgot which one it was when we did it. The Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord. We practiced that one. Remember this one? The Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seeds. The Lord. Here we go. Break it down. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Very good. Very good. Now, the scripture for today, I'm just going to give it to you. You sort of heard it, a little bit of it, in a, in a different phrasing from Dr. Smith. It comes from Philippians 4.13. Am I right, Dr. Smith? That's, your, that's probably your favorite verse. One, one, of your, one of my favorites, too. And Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or who gives me strength, different verses, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Say it with me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now say it this time like you mean it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now we're out on the front with to find somebody and tell them you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Let the church say amen. So this is out of chapel, perfect chapel, perfect um, a, a time to talk about being able to do all things. My father told me a story, it's one of my favorite stories that he told me. He was about eight or nine years old. He went down to Texas, went down to a place, you ever heard of Texas? You know about Texas. Way down in Texas to see his father, my grandfather. I never met, but my father told me about my grandfather, Charles Hunter, and his grandma that he met, Grandma Goldie. They got some names, uh, Grandma Johnny. Grandma Goldie. And here's what happened. My father was down in Texas meeting the hunters from Texas, and one day he saw a picture that was kind of up near the fireplace of a jockey. Do you know what a jockey is? I believe it's like a, a jockey. You know, they ride those horses. They're real short, kind of like, kind of like, and, but a little smaller, a lot smaller. And they get on the horse, the jockey, and they have a, right? You know what I'm talking about? They get on the horse, and they race. Oh, you might get said, no, and they, here they come kind of around the time, and they, right. I saw it on TV on the track. Okay, now. <laughs> my disclaimer. Yes. Now, my father saw a picture of this jockey, and he said to himself, I like to draw that picture. I think that would be so cool. He took the picture and sat it on the table, but here's what he did. Tell me if you've ever done this. He took a sheet of paper that you can kind of see through a little bit and put it over the top of the picture of the jockey, and he did what? He traced it. Raise your hand if you've ever traced. Of course we've traced. We've traced, and so he traced the picture. Nothing wrong with that. He's having fun, but then here's what he did. He had the picture, and my, his grandmother, Grandma Goldie, she said, ooh, Baby, that is so nice. Did you draw that? Here's the moment. Okay, so she says, baby, that is so nice. Did you draw that? Now, did he did he draw it? He didn't, he didn't draw it. What did he do? He traced it. And he said, because grandma, you know, when grandma was light up, and was, baby, did you draw that? And he said, uh, uh, yeah. Was that true? No. But he said he did. She said, really? He said, uh-huh. She says, okay. And... He took the picture. Grandma Goldie liked my picture. She liked my picture. 
then people would come by. And Grandma Zoe said, you should see what my grandson drew. And my father was like, oh, boy. See, he drew it. He drew that? No, I think if he said he drew Now, my father doesn't know if she was just, if she really knew, he never found out. And just trying to test him. She said, yes, yeah. he said he drew it. So he drew it. And my dad is like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he draw the picture? No, he didn't draw the picture. But he still didn't, you know, let her know. So a couple of days go by. Grandma goes, he's got her friends sitting with her in the kitchen. And she says, yep, my grandbaby from Chicago, he can draw. Really? Look at what he drew. Not gold. You know that baby didn't draw. Yes, he drew this. You see, Leslie, because I'm little Leslie, sort of. <laughs> Leslie, come here. And he came. She says, you know what? You draw that picture again. And he says, okay. You know what he was thinking? My father told me, I'm going to get that paper. No problem. I'm go I'll be right back, Grandma. No problem. She says, hold on, baby. And she got some construction paper. Uh-oh. Do you know what construction paper is? Can you see through that stuff? No, she got that construction paper, and she said, and I want you to put it on this. She said, oh. <laughs> I'll be right back, I think. And he went in the other room. And here's what happened. It's one of my favorite stories that my father tells me. It's a true story. My father went in the other room with that construction paper and the picture of that jockey. Now, he knows I cannot trace this picture. So what am I going to do? He said, I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know why. I told this story so many times that I get emotional. My father took that pencil. And he took his time, and he began to look at the picture, and look at the paper, and look at the picture, and took his time. He erased, did a lot of erasing, but he kept looking and kept drawing. And all of a sudden, he said, wait a minute, that's coming together. Okay, and he kept drawing. It took him quite a while, longer than a tracing, but when he was done, it impressed himself. He went to Grandma Goldie and showed her the picture. And she even looked and said, well, all right. My father said he learned something that day because he was put to the test. All that time, he was thinking being an artist and didn't know the whole time he was an artist. It was inside of him. It was right there. It just needed to be put to the test. What am I trying to say to you today? You don't have to fake it. Woo! Being a master student, you have to fake it. Being a don't get it, you have to fake it. It's in you if you put it to the test. You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You don't have to fake it. You don't have to copy. it. You don't have to mimic. You don't have to pretend. You don't have to lie. Just dig down deep. Take your time and discover what's inside of you. God can put good things inside of you. God put abilities inside of you. God put power inside of you. God put creativity inside of you. God put patience inside of you. There are so many things inside of you, but you got to put it to the test. Sit your chair down, focus, and take your... Because it's inside of you. I don't know what it is about that story and that message. It moves me. My father told me that story. I was in tears. He said, son, I didn't know what I had until I was put to the test. Stop being afraid of a test. Take that in. Stop being afraid of a test. Learn from the first test. Go back and study and come back for the next test. You are built for it. Who am I talking to today? You were made for it. And there's nothing too hard for you. Or too hard for you because there's nothing too hard for God. And he lives in us. You and I. I share that story today to encourage you. Use what God gave you. 
you can do it. Amen? If you believe that, we're going to give the Lord a hand praise and thank God for what he's put inside of you. It's in you. Put it to the test. So I'm going to ask Ms. Collins to come down in a minute. You're going to give us the closing prayer. And then I'm going to give a couple of reflections. And then our benediction. Reverend Mark will give us our benediction. Amen? All right. Put the hands together, Ms. Collins. The one and only. The go get <laughs> Right. Go get her. Here you go, get her. Thank you. Let's bow our heads. Gracious God, in one of the Psalms, you remind us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are your creation, we are your children. That means we are you in existence here on earth. Your hands, your feet, your heart, your brain, your actions are resonated through us. If we just get still and focus on the greatness within us, we know that we can do all things through Christ that brings us strength. We know, Lord, that you have already put in us the greatness that you have in yourself. Let us accept that. Let us know that and let us not play small and let us not play weak and let us, Lord, when we feel small and weak, just get still and come into your space and remind ourselves that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We thank you, Lord, for this lesson today. We ask that you allow us to take it into our very hearts and believe it so that we can achieve all that you have asked us and placed us on this earth to do. We ask that you allow these children, Lord, to continue to thrive and to grow in your way, and all of the adults in their lives, Lord, to understand their role in creating greatness for the children and for ourselves. We are blessed. We are grateful, and we say thank you, God, for all the goodness that you've bestowed in our lives, for every every opportunity and every challenge. Because it's the challenges that bring out this greatness in us. Thank you for Mr. Hunter. Thank you for the lessons he teaches us each week. And please continue to bless this special place called Holy Family. Amen. Amen. Oh, that was a beautiful prayer. Well, kindergarten, first and second graders, I want you to draw a picture and write a few sentences about how you want God to give you strength. Fourth through eighth graders, Pastor Hunter just talked a lot about being put to the test. I want you to talk about what that means to you. So I want you to take all of those lessons and talk about what that means to you. Being put to the test, finding strength in God, what does that mean? Infinite possibilities. What does that all mean to you? And I want you to go deep on this one. All right, Reverend Martin. And now raising our hands as a sign of reverence to our God. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and present you before his glorious presence without fault to the only wise God we know. Be glory, majesty, power, and authority now and forevermore. And all of God's children said, amen. Thank <laughs> you.